All right, we're back at it again. Fix this more cutting. All right, here we go. We're gonna go with this here, and this should go in pretty good as long as I keep everything lined up. Put these holes in here. Everything should line up. Uh, cause I'm not, I'm not taking this out. So all these holes will be here, here and here, cause this is fine. I just got to cut a little bit out of the floor. And of course, just a cut. I'm gonna cut this right along this area here, the seam right here, cause I got enough to play with on this one. And just line everything up. Got a few measurements just in case, you know. I can just double check. And of course that's gonna go in there. I'm gonna cut it along in here. And the floor, I got some 16 gauge. A little bit stronger gauge here. I'm gonna put it in the floor here and cut around that. So I think start doing some cutting. All right, here's what we got. I got this cut out. Right along that seam line there. Had to uh, drill for some spot welds, take that out. And I gotta do a little cutting on this one. Measure it all in, get it right. And I cut the back one out, right here. That's all I needed to take out of that because it's fine on up in here. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to probably cut this, cut this panel out right in here, replace this. A little bit of the floor, I'll probably come through a couple inches, four or five inches up in here, and straight down. I'm going to probably two piece that. Bend it all in. Treat some of the surface rust and up in there. Yeah. So, let's get started.
All right, I'm going to use this piece for a pattern. I'm going to flatten it all out first. So I'll be able to scrap it on another piece. I'll just flatten, bring this out, hammer down, flatten all this out. I'm going to have to make a cut right there. And uh, I'll do some surgery. I'm going to have to cut that piece separate and weld it in. But i got to flatten it out and scrap it on this right in here. So, let's see what we can do. Got all three patches cut in. Just gotta weld them up now. So that's one. Gotta do a little knocking around here and there. Drill my holes right here. This thing will fit. Of course, that's gonna go right in there. Weld all the way around. That's the back kick plate. I just gotta put all this stuff together and start welding it in. But there's all three pieces right there. Let's start welding. Alright, different day. I didn't get it all finished last night. But I did get the floor put in. The patch in the floor. Worked out good. Gotta grind all the welds down. Everything worked out great. May have to do a little bit more work right in here and knock this in a little bit. I'm gonna we'll start putting it all together. Let's see what happens. All right, here we are. Everything's looking good. Got the floor in. Got it all welded up. Pretty good. I grinded it good enough. I don't want to take too much of it off. Need some meat there to hold on. And that's going to go in there. Let's do that right now. I'm going to shut this up and shoot a little etch primer on it, put some rust uh, resistant paint, something like that on it to protect it, weld it on in there.
All right, let's check it out. That's about it on this side. Everything turned out good. Got a little bit more grinding to do. Not much. I'll catch that later. I got in some primer now. Everything turned out good. I ain't gonna grind nothing on the bottom. We'll undercoat all that. I'm gonna keep all the meat I can on it. I ain't gonna put the rockers on yet until I hang the door. I gotta set the door and get it all lined up real nice all the way around. Check the gappage out on it. Then I'll align my rockers, move them up and down, weld them on in. But I'll get to that later. I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the other side real quick, you know, while I'm still fresh on it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, y'all take it easy.